Hello everyone, hope you guys are well. It's LTB Tech here. Now, um, regards to the recent uh, video that I uploaded about Anki Vector Acid being acquired by the uh, Digital Dreams Labs, there are a few quite interesting updates that I want to share with you. So number one is that this article that I shared is updated. So some of the context have been added and those are the things I do want to highlight in case you are asking me because there are several people asking me this question. So. Um, well, what it is, is that the Hancha, which is the main guy, Jacob Hancha, says that, um, wrote reports that the, uh, there's a new tech for sure, he said, and includes Vector 2.0, so these are all the updates and so on, but Hancha said that Digital Dream Labs is thinking about launching a uh, crowdfunding campaign early 2020, so that could be like a crowdfunding website such as Kickstarter or Indiegogo, uh, or just a personal one, but I don't know how they're gonna Anyway, so it's going to be a crowdfunding campaign for sure and that's going to keep things running. As you know, the Digital Dream Labs is contractually ob um, obligated to maintain Anki server um, until uh, September 2000, 20, sorry, September 2020. Um, so those are the things, but it seems that they're still in a process of thinking. But one thing I do really respect for the fact that uh, Jacob Hancher did was he actually registered on some of the group page on Facebook and um, I just want to quickly share some of the things that I have actually been finding out. So this is um, permitted by Sergey. Um, Sergey actually shared this photo with me when I uploaded my video last time. It says, what does it mean? What does this mean for one of their products, Vector? Will he continue to be updated with features as pet detection? So we, we haven't seen that yet. Um, messaging, 360 photo, security, yada yada yada. His purpose wasn't for STEM education, which I just don't, I think that's a bit of a turn off, STEM education. Um, but who knows? Anyway, well, uh, I can see how it can be uh, implemented. So, um, Han Chao, Jacob Hansa says, um, Cosmo is going to be the focus of our school implementation. We realize that Vector is much more advanced. So there's a bit of a sign of weakness, should we say? I don't know, but we, we will slowly and deliberately um, start tuning uh, on features for Vector and extend the platform. We are considering making a Vector open source, having a Kickstarter to uh, develop it. So there you go. So that's personal message from Jacob Hancha, the, the main guy of uh, Digital Dream Lab. Now I've got some few other uh, things that he actually also said as well. So Jacob Hancha um, actually came to the Facebook um, group and he actually says yes we will privately so we will prob probably um, transfer to another server this is the vector server and there might be some downtime as a result we're examining the idea of setting up a mirror service at our own location all these details still it needs to be hammered out so uh, he's very open about having discussions here um, so I would advise you to join uh, some of the things that he's sharing uh, this uh, group and so on um, but let's see what actually he said in here as well so um, he actually posted saying hello to everyone in this uh, Facebook group page as well um, but it says hello everyone digital dream labs um, and, and so on but the main thing that I'm focusing on is the vector side and um, he's mostly excited about Cosmo because I can see that there's a lot of big bucks in the um, <laughs> Cosmo so um, good luck with him for that but anyway he says that this is um, so can you tell us the big picture vi uh, vision intended direction personal aim interest in SDK aspect for learning purpose. I don't think Vector should be the S SDK side, but hey, we shall find out. But um, what Jacob Hancher says, this is a really tough question. At first, I thought having to learn a code platform for four years old, uh, puzzlets to uh, college age. So he's acknowledging that Vector is actually a college age. It's not a some sort of like a SDK stuff, but it's more of an AI. Okay, will be a big enough uh, vision. After seeing what was in the picture pipeline and Anki, I need to think even bigger. So he, have, he actually realized there's a lot of things that he needs to deal with. I think Digital Dream Lab's mission now is not only to uh, incorporate the STEM in our education, but the incorporation of AI and machine learning in our everyday lives. The direction now is to get everything back up and running for all products uh, to be available by winter 2020 because it runs out at September for 
Anki and so on. So we shall see how it goes. Uh, the next step after that would be to follow up the projects that Anki was still working on. Uh, there are two projects codenamed Bingo and another called Whiskey that will blow everyone's ev well, uh, everyone's socks off. So there's this thing called Bingo and Whiskey, which is two project code. Wow, uh, that will be very, very interesting indeed, um, which I thought would be good to share. Anyway, so what you guys think? I mean, um, it's about this whole thing of um, subscription-based models. So are you willing to pay for the subscription? Um, I'm sure a lot of grown-ups will be, but I don't know how kids gonna beg their parents about this whole thing, but it's becoming more interesting. Uh, there's all these secret projects and also this good thing about this article is that it's also saying things about why um, Anki has went bust because they're quite too busy, um, you know, paying for this uh, patent and, and so on. But anyway, I advise you to go through this whole thing and just want to keep you guys updated on this whole process of Anki Vector and I hope you guys understood more of what's coming next and I'm especially very interested in the whole uh, whiskey and bingo project, uh, the code name and how it will turn out later on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you're excited about the New Year's break. All the best. Bye-bye.